then we have the flush so similar to the gap we're going to be have the flush so flush is nothing but surface level difference flush is nothing but surface level difference between the two adjacent component class a okay so suppose again we can just draw for the convenience to understand so we here we're going to be have the one part according to that you can check something like this will be the part then again we need to have the another part it's something like this will be the another part Okay, so with respect to that, we'll have something like this. We have the two parts. Now, the what exact difference we have? So here you can imagine what are the difference. We have something like surface level difference. Okay, so this is we have the surface level difference. So whatever we have the difference between the two. surfaces so difference we going to be have with the two surfaces surface level rather than that we going to be call this as a flush okay so here we already seen what exactly the gap means what exactly the gap means now we are checking for the flush so what are we going to be have this distance is known as a flush okay so this is again the part 1 this is we can say part 2 so surface level difference between the part 1 and part 2 with class a only okay so it is nothing but the surface level difference between the two class a okay and this is known as again under flush over flush or no flush okay so this is called as a under over and no flush what it mean by the under what it mean by the over and what it mean by the no flush so no flush is something like we can say straight away we going to be have that zero zero line so that we can say as no flush suppose what are the style we have so similar style will be over here so that will be definitely we can say as a no flush okay or the zero flush is also there so this we can say the no flush condition what are we have existing right now so this we can call as over flush so from where we going to be get that word over now we can recognize when there is a under okay so this will be depend this will be depend upon the assembly how the part will be get assembled okay so this will be depend upon how the part will be get assembled so here you can check this two part this part 1 and part 2 Going to be get assemble. So this is A side we have from class A side we are seeing. So definitely you can understand part two is going to be get assemble first. Okay, so part one will be get assemble first because if you have the part sorry part one is already assemble, so we cannot assemble the part two from this side. So definitely we can say by looking this interface, part two will be assemble first and then part one will be get assemble. Okay. So something like this, we're going to be have the assembly process in these two particular parts. So what's going to be happen now? So whatever the assembly is done with respect to that first part, which first part is going to be get assembled. So that is now the part of vehicle. Okay. So when it get assembled to the vehicle, okay. So this will be the part of now assembly. Okay. So this will be the part of assembly. Now the fresh part. this first part again going to be get assemble now so it is going to be assem assemble not to the red part it is now assembling to the vehicle okay because this is fitted onto the vehicle so now this first part also now going to be assemble to the vehicle so that's why the parent for this is nothing but the red part and children for this is nothing but we can say as magenta color so this part is going to be get assemble later for that reason we can use this word over or under with respect to the assembly okay as we have said like this is going to be get assemble first due to that we can reference take a reference of this particular red part okay so now we can say the purple color part sorry magenta color part is over flush with respect to red part okay or the part 1 is 
over flush with respect to part two. Okay, part one is over flush with respect to part two. This is the condition we have due to the interface. Okay, due to the interface. Suppose the interface will be opposite. Okay, so interface will be opposite. So if you just check over here. If you just check over here, whatever we have the interface. Now the interface will be something like this. Again, okay. here this part is going to be get assembled first now. Okay, so scenario is now changed. So this second part now is going to be get assembled first. Okay. Now the first first assemble part is this. It's going to be get assembled first onto the vehicle. Okay, so now the condition will be now the condition will be red part is under flush with respect to magenta part. Okay, so this is the second part is under flush with respect to part one. So this is how we're going to be get anovate. Okay, so if you majorly check, so the only thing whichever part is assembled first onto the vehicle, whichever part is going to be get assembled first onto the vehicle with respect to that, we need to call out the relation for gap flush. Okay, so here you can say. Now this part will be under flush. Okay, so this part will be under flush. So anyone having doubt, just let me know.